Okay, let's do a recap. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 31, Extend. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we continue to be newly informed by having to work on our backup computers. Um, in fact, we had to we did a little media math today. We said that when you work with a computer at 60 frames per second at uh, high definition, you're basically trying to send a lot of stuff out all at once. You could, you could theoretically, you could send three screenshots per <laughs> per second, which would be awfully jerky. But we're actually experiencing 60 frames per second, so the encoding that our computer is doing is reducing the images by a 20 to 1. And that's whether it's streaming or it's uh, in a similar ratio is when it's just recording to your hard disk. And we were kind of very conscious of that because we were experiencing a lot of lag today from multiple sources. So we did some impromptu media math. But the main thing we did was spend time on uh, our Simplicity 1 composition which we're taking to calling Simplicity 2, I mean Simplicity 1 major at the moment. And we had begun adding this ornamentation line in the last stream, and then we had to continue adding it for what we called Phrases 3, which we did today, and then we finally added a second ornamentation line here. So we're going to play this whole thing for you, and that will bring us home. about it is the play of the dual fast notes here. Um, we also made a point of annotating all of the places where the notes are striking at the same time and you'll see we've got a bunch of places where the chords we originally had in place have changed. So not only have we added uh, stuff that sounds nice, we called it hearing and adding the notes that were missing that wanted to be played, but it also changes the energy store in the most obvious is at the end it was ending on a subdominant which is kind of a float but now that we put a major mode in here coming in from the da 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 uh, this is going to end up being a tonic so we'll end up on a traditional classic resolution our ideas for next time are to continue to work with simplicity uh, update the chord annotation and the cadence changes Double check it, and then we want to start extending it into the minor version of this. And also some troubleshooting issues on our laggy computer. Shout outs to Silent Lurker. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.